are on our way to Kent, New York. We spent the night in Rochester and we're uh, going to pick up a cow and two pigs from Bannister Beef. They have such a cute house, you guys. I hope the nectarines the are available. Right. His Arrived. dad has the best, best peaches around, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh, there's Bailey. And cherries. Yeah. We just picked up our beef cow. It was three marine ice chests full and uh, two pigs. And uh, pig, one pig is like pretty much a, a marine ice chest full. All right, and guess what? The nectarines and peaches are ready. And we uh, purchased uh, two eight quarts. So we're gonna pick those up right now. Aren't these gorgeous? He lets them ripen on the tree. That's what makes it so special. He's been doing this for like 30 years. But anyway, the last time we were here, she gave us a big old thing of cherries and it was so good. Anyway, we're gonna take these. Their farm is located along the Lake Ontario shorelines. It's three generations. What a beautiful lifestyle for that family and those children. The beef took up three marine ice chests. And uh, they aged it for uh, 31 days. So if you're wondering what a whole pig looks like, all of these here are pork chops. There's a whole uh, ham, a couple packages of ground pork. And then this is the other uh, ham uh, cut into breakfast ham slices. And then we have a lot of pork roast here. This is breakfast sausage, a mild Italian sausage, some steaks, heart and tongue. This one is spare ribs. Um, there's ham hocks here. This is all bacon. And then I have uh, one bacon and one breakfast sausage here. So that's the whole ham. Oh, plus I got this huge bag of lard to render down. I wanna show you the two types of fat from a whole pig. The one on the left is called fat back, and it's the fat that's taken off the back of the animal. It is sliced off. The one on the right is fat that is located around the organs. It's called leaf fat. The leaf fat is very coveted in pastry making. It renders a very pure white lard. And unless you have like a whole hog butchered, it's very difficult to come by. The back fat, I'm gonna use it in making things like biscuits for like homemade biscuits and gravy maybe in a pie crust for a quiche Lorraine, I'd use it to make carnitas, whereas I'd use the leaf fat and uh, reserve it solely for delicate pie crusts. I don't make a lot of pies, maybe four per year, and I hope I get enough uh, leaf fat to put that up for those pie crusts, that'd be really great. I'm gonna start cutting the fat into small pieces. I'm gonna put the back fat in one stainless steel pot and the leaf fat in another stainless steel pot. That way I can render them down on the stove on low heat and have them separated. So those are the two types of fat that you might find on a whole pig. I have a whole bag of fat from when we had our pig butchered and I'm gonna render it down and make it into lard. I'm just cutting it into small pieces. You could alternatively put it through a meat grinder.
This is the pot with the leaf uh, fat. You can see it's rendering nice and clear. This is the pot with all the fat from the back and it's just starting to render now. Um, we're gonna continue to cook both pots on low and stir occasionally. The uh, lard has rendered out and we're gonna get these bottled up into some sterile canning jars. This is what the lard looks like when you first put it in the canning jars. Here's what the lard looks like after it's cooled down. It's pretty pure white, looking good.